This is the stretcher tri bridle. So up here we have the head of the stretcher, and the foot portion of the stretcher is back here. In the head portion, we have Purcell Press X, the yellow long ones. You want to make sure the Purcell knot is all the way up. And we're using a steel tri link. We're not using a carabiner because of triaxial loading here. So that's for the head section. In the center, we've got your personal Aztec kit. You pull that out of the pouch that's closest to your body. That goes in the center. Orange pulley up top. Blue, blue pulley connected to your harness. You want to make sure the blue prussic is connected to the blue pulley. That's so you can reach that. The orange pulley could very well get out of your reach, so you always want to be connected where you can adjust this. And for the foot section of the stretcher, we've got a carabiner. This is so we can release it if we need to convert to a vertical stretcher rig. This is for the horizontal. We have another set of fours that goes to the foot end of the stretcher. Another steel tri-link and the shorter blue Purcell Pressix on either side of the stretcher. All right, so now we have a belay line and a main line. These normally would be 7 16 or half inch line. Thread it through the head connection your personal Aztec and the foot end of the stretcher. This is going to be a long tail bowline. So we want to take two full arms length of rope. You're going to come out with a tail that's 7 to 10 feet long depending on how long your arms are. So you pull one length, another full length, arms length, and you're going to construct your long tail bowline. Make your loop. With this bowlin, we're going to have the tails come to the outside of the knot. Normally, your tails on a bowlin would end up in the center, but we want these out because we're going to be using them. So pull the knot up real close so you have a nice low gain on this. Dress the knot just like any of your other knots. Make all the connections parallel so it's strong. It should be about that size. So you've got one connection for your victim. Okay, put an end of the line knot. Connect your victim to that. This line, it can be either the main line of the belay, is for your connection. So you can also connect to the end of the line if you want, but Better would be to have some adjustability here. You can use a Gibbs to adjust your connection. You can use a Prusik loop to connect and adjust. You could use a Petzl handle ascender or anything that's uh, approved on our equipment list. So as you're adjusting yourself up and down on the stretcher, you want to keep your backup, your safety snug as well. And that's the horizontal stretcher rig with the tri-bridle.